So number one is going to be Framer. Now, when Framer first came out, I was the very first skeptic. I was 100% in on Webflow and I was like, ah, just another thing trying to eat up Webflow's lunch. Well, now, in my opinion, Framer is better for the average person than Webflow. Webflow comes with a lot of bloat, a lot of massive, massive learning curve. If you don't want to get into code and all that, Framer is the best way to go. The first thing that I thought about when I got into Framer was that it's like Figma, but with a publish button. Well, now they have that. This is a template that I just found here on Framer and it's one of thousands that already exist, but this is a website that is created by Framer. So you can see that it's not just shitty little sites, you know, it's really nicely designed marketing sites, SaaS sites, e-commerce still has a way to go with Framer, but in my opinion, you should be using Shopify for that either way. So Framer is one of the only tools I can truly recommend as a designer, as a freelancer, I use it all the time. So yeah, I mean, take a look at all these different templates here. It is very easy to get lost in this stuff because if you're a designer, you just want to see your designs be live and you want to kind of go from design to live as short as possible. Having to learn Webflow or something like that kind of cuts that process. If you can just skip that and go straight into publish mode and sell those templates, it's going to attract a lot of designers. So in my opinion, Framer is kind of the website builder for designers first. That is the very first thing. 